40 plus 10 times square root of 15 all under square root. We have to simplify it. So to simplify it, we need to remove this square root. If we can write these two terms in terms of a plus minus b whole square, then this whole square can remove the square root. So let's try it like this. So 40 plus 10 we can write it as 2 times 5 then times square root of 50 under square root or 40 plus 2 times 5 we can also write it as square root of 5 square because when a is under square root it means a is raised to the power of 1 upon 2 when we square it we multiply 2 with the exponent so 2 and 2 gets cancelled so we can write 5 as square root of 5 square and it will be equal to 5 so no difference then times square root of 15 under square root or 40 plus 2 times this we can write square root of 5 times square root of 5 then times square root of 15 under square root when a under square root times b under square root we can also write it as a times b under square root so 40 plus 2 times this we can write 5 times 5 and 15 as 5 times 3 under square root then all under square root or 40 plus 2 times 5 times 5 is 25 and then 5 times 3 is 15 so we can write it as 25 times 15 under square root or 40 we can write it as 25 plus 15 plus 2 this we can write square root of 25 times square root of 15 under square root now 25 we can write it as square root of 25 square and it will be equal to 25 plus 15 as square root of 15 square plus 2 times square root of 25 times square root of 15 under square root now if you consider square root of 25 as a and square root of 15 as b then this is in the form of a square plus b square plus 2ab and this is equal to a plus b whole square so we can write it as square root of 25 plus square root of 15 whole square under square root now remove the square root with the square so we have square root of 25 plus square root of 15 square root of 25 is 5 so 5 plus square root of 15 this is our answer how did you simplify it let me know in the comment section thanks for watching